This is Bergen, one of the oldest cities in Norway. This is the Bergen Cathedral School, the oldest school in Bergen. This is Rudolf, the first computer the school bought back in the late 70s. It's a TDV 2114 intelligent terminal, which is just a fancy name of microcomputer. It uses the Intel 88 CPU and 64 kilobytes of RAM. As you see, it got monitor included, one internal 8-inch floppy drive, keyboard, and an external 8-inch floppy disk drive. And as obviously, it uses 8-inch floppy disks. Today, I will be giving you a small demonstration of this unit and how to operate it. First example I will be showing is basic. This version was shipped by Tanberg and it's one of the software you could get with the system. So first thing you do is you turn it on, it makes a beeping sound which indicates that everything is alright. Then it loads the disk after you insert it. There you have Tanberg basic interrupter. So like then you can just type common, like uh, also common print 2 plus 2, which is 4, of course. So, you're probably familiar with BASIC if you are used to those old machines. So, the, the next example I will be giving you is of CPM. This version came with two versions of CPM, or several actually. One is uh, on the actual intended for a system, CPM 2.2. It, it contains a special separate disk with a loader and a CPM disk with files. It also comes with some older loaders, like Harris Boardstar, you probably know it, if you are familiar with CPM. So, what you do, yeah, of course the procedure is the same, you turn on the system and you insert the disk. Yeah. And then it loads. We got worst star. Yeah, we'll be giving you a small demonstration. You probably are familiar with Boardstar from before, as I said, if you know those old machines, because it was quite a common program back then. And find it everywhere. Boardstar version 2. Yeah, this is the standard menu, start menu. So, I will using a um, separate data disk in drive B for this. So then I have to change this. This for these supports are in Norwegian as you may see. So maybe hard for English people to understand what this says, but I guess if you're familiar with the interface you probably know it anyways. So let's load a file. So to so then I have to type in the file name. Then it loads the file. So here it, yeah, as you see, the file was loaded, and you see it here. Yeah, you probably, I haven't taken any course or read anything about using Boardstar, so I actually don't know how to scroll in the file. 
The next example I will be giving you is of um, Tiki, no, no, not Tiki, but the Hamburg operating system. This uh, was the operating system that shipped originally shipped with the machine. So, as the Hamburg operating system, yeah. So it's like it's a little the same as CPM, um, but it uses different commands and stuff. So here is all the files on the disk. I will be giving a demonstration of a program called Tennis. Here. As you see, the point is to avoid that have to happen. You use the right side, use the numpad to move, and the left side uses the key to move. So, yeah. Every time it hits the wall, it makes a sound. This is a perfect way to demonstrate the controls of the system too because besides the keyboard you got two buttons under here one is a variable you can adjust the volume so yeah. the other other control is brightness And on the back side here, you got a button which you can invert the whole display with. You see? Yeah. The last button you got here is a break button. This button will break the program and return you to the monitor which is inside a ROM. ROM chip in the computer. As you see here, as you see here, it returned to the monitor. So that's basically it. Um, thanks for watching.